Gardening is one of the most wholesome pastimes in the universe, right? But there's no reason why we can't have a nice garden of evil. I'm Shannon Coffey, and this is not your mom's DIY show. This is Paint It Black, the alternative DIY show that kicks fruity crafts to the curb. And if I can make this crap, so can you. I personally love gardening because, you know, I feel like plants raise your vibration. That's something I read from a lady who is a crystal witch on Twitter, and I believe her. And it makes my studio apartment not look like a hellhole. <laughs> if you're gonna go through the trouble of buying a plant and trying to keep it alive, you might as well spruce it up with an awesome planter to go with it. There's nothing I like more than little demon babies. So today, we're gonna make a doll head planter. An evil baby doll head planter. Ooh. You're gonna need acrylic paint, scissors, or an X-Acto knife, or both. Sharp objects always come in handy. Keep them around. Paint brushes, some mesh, potting soil, a dark plant of your choice. Ooh. Uh. Not all plants are average looking green, bright looking flowery kind of things like this. Dark plants are totally a thing. They exist. There's like black grass, black lilies. Put up a list of like all the black plants so that I don't have to use my memory skills. Oh geez, it's a long list. <laughs> don't read my palm. I'm gonna die soon. Today we've chosen chrysanthemum. 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 Are you ready to become part of the dark garden of evil? And our most key ingredient for today's DIY. <laughs> a baby. Don't use a real baby. Step one, you're gonna wanna remove this baby's head. This baby cannot wait to lose its head. It's already losing it. Mm -hmm. This is very effective. We just like rip it, ooh. Don't be afraid to use as many tools as possible. Step two, clean up the decapitation zone. Step three, we're gonna figure out where our potting hole is gonna be. I'm gonna use a Sharpie marker to mark it out so that I know where I'm cutting. Oh my gosh, this baby's head is tough. All right, baby, scissors are coming your way. You wanna make sure you pick a doll that has a squishy head, one that you can cut into, cause the whole point is you need a big gaping hole in the top so you could shove a plant in it. Now that this baby doesn't have any brains left in it, move on to step four. Put a little bit of mesh on the bottom so when you put the plant in, no soil will come out. And it'll still allow the water to come through so that you don't drown your new plant baby. Step five, paint your baby. Now, this is where you get really creative. You do whatever you wanna do. So I've chosen a bunch of acrylic like paint in different colors. That way I could just choose, you know, to mix and match them and paint a little zombie baby. I'd say this color green is called baby booty fungus. Oh, this baby is looking so good. So now that I have my base, I'm gonna go and start with the detailings. Fun fact, at my grandma's funeral, they forgot to put on her eyebrows, so I drew them for her. Babies are classically covered with boogers, you know? Babies are always like blah, 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 vomiting and boogering everywhere. So I'm just gonna add some yellow and shove it right up his little nostrils. I heard white around the eyes really makes them pop. You know, I didn't intend to do this, but I'm actually just painting myself as a child. Oh my God, look at those lips. He's a little Kylie Jenner. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. Freckles are nice because, you know, they add a nice youthful glow. What else should I do for this baby? Oh, he should get some eyelashes. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, great. If you wanna put your planter outside, use some weatherproofing or waterproofing spray. That way, this little planter baby will last forever. Step six, pour some dirt in this baby's head. So what you wanna do is fill like about an inch or inch and a half of the bottom. Thank you. It's like this baby's giving me a thumbs up. Like, don't worry Shannon, it's going great. So next, you're gonna take your plant out of the pot that came in and put it in the baby's head. This is gonna get a little bit messy. So obviously this won't immediately fit in, but what you wanna do is just break up the soil. You wanna make sure you treat your plant gently so you don't hurt it while you're transporting it. It can get tricky, but just try to be gentle. Don't treat the plant the way we just treated the baby. <laughs> it's like it's cockeying all over the table. Okay, I think I got the nubby part to get small enough. Just jam it in there. You know, we might have gotten the plant proportion wrong and that's okay, we're just humans. I made it work. Now blow this baby face off. Clean them up, clean them up. Then you wanna take your new soil and just fill in the top parts so it holds it in place. So here you go, you have a nice little zombie baby head planter with a dark plant in it. This is the kind of planter that says, I'm gonna start my own cult, a baby cult. 
where I take over all the babies in the universe and make them evil. Thanks for watching Paint It Black. If you make your own baby head planter, make sure to tag us on Instagram so we can check it out. I hope it came out as good as this one, or it works. Is the goal to be bad or good? I don't know. And leave us a comment below if you have a cool idea for what I should do with these baby limbs. I'm just dying to use them.